Alright, this is the Minish Cap Randomizer. I'm playing under the variety tournament settings for round number 7, which is Closed Fusions, Rookie Mania, Obscure Spots Enabled, Traps Are Enabled, uh, and Reduced Item Pool. So it's kind of a, kind of a bit of a setting. Can be uh, kind of difficult at times. We also need uh, four elements in order to. Okay. Four elements in order to reach the pedestal. Pedestal does not require the sword at all. So, technically, we can do it without the four sword, but you still. What are these? Okay. This is a, this is a start. So, like I said, uh. Reduced item pool usually means you're not getting stuff for a while, but uh, we're finding some stuff. Also, I forgot something real quick. There we go. So, cane and dog food spot. That could be. Oh, okay. Flippers. Hmm. You know, I'm thinking we have to check that cane right now, right? We've got to check that cane. Because if that's an actual cane, cane plus grip ring is pretty solid. And the bomb bag? So bomb... There's only one bomb bag in the pool, so getting it this early is really nice. If you saw my seed from the other day, you would know what it's like to uh, not have a bomb bag for a while. So it's nice to have some decent items early on. We still haven't checked what the uh, what the elements are yet. I'll probably do that a little bit later. Let's see if this is a real cane. It is a real cane! Wow! We're getting a lot of real items right very early on. Immediately after that, we get a, a trap. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up... Yeah, I'm gonna finish up, uh... Minish... Minish stuff here. And then probably make our way to... Deepwood area? Is that good? Minish loop is not as good in these settings. Yo, what's up, Bluesy? Already green sword. This is this is the start. What is going on? <laughs> this is not how these settings normally go. Yeah, these settings are absolutely terrifying. Ah! Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Having to go against Myth is no joke. Especially with these settings, where you have to really have very strong execution. Oh yeah, this is actually a good play. 
because we have managed flipper caves available to us. I didn't have access to Minish Flipper Caves for like an hour plus last seed because we didn't have bombs. Yo, what's up, running a week? Thanks for the good luck. items am I going to get? I'm going to get all my items early. This might be a really good seed. Somehow. Kinstone? Oh, we're, we're going to need to figure out what how many kinstones we need. Uh, on our quick warp, we'll, we'll do a map check. Just to see what we need. Also to d determine if we want to go into Deepwood. Like, even though we don't have Gushar or Lantern, we might still want to dip into Deepwood. Alright, well, what do we got? Uh, no... No palace, no temple. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you know what? We have access to Lake... We have access to lake. Yeah, I think I'm gonna loop this around. We'll go to uh, check out the beginning of, of Deep Wood real quick. Just see what we got. See if it is Gust slash um, Lantern Locked. And then we're gonna probably head over to, to Lake. And we're gonna start working on the first minish uh the first uh obscure path there the fact that palace is not a required dungeon is very nice i don't like having to go through palace in these settings Especially if you don't find the ocarina, because close fusions ocarina really helps if you have to do palace. Okay, so it is gust slash uh, lantern locked. No, uh, we already checked shop. Shop has shop is pretty much dead. I don't remember if there was a heart piece on there. Yeah, I don't think there was a heart piece. I'll check it next time. I'll check it next time I go back in just to make sure. That's the only thing that could screw me in the shop is heart pieces. I always forget to like mark those. And you know, in rip settings, heart pieces are 100% necessary if you need to do wave blade. I might as well do Morphin Fairy while I'm here. Speaking of a heart piece. Y'all, yeah, I'll Orphan Fairy. And then... Then we head over to Lake. We're gonna want to get that bottle sooner rather than later. As soon as we get Bottle, we can do Cave Flames. Oh, nice. I avoided it. I love when you can avoid the uh, Curse Trap. Probably my favorite thing. Kinstone? Veil falls. Oh. Oh. 
that is a big find, especially if we find the lantern soon. Another kinstone. Caster, that's one we, we need. Oh no. I'm concerned about Cloud Tops. Veilfall slash Cloud Tops is gonna be a big play, potentially. Oh, of course! Why would I get any other trap? I mean, what, that's already, like, two or three of those? And we're ten minutes into the, the run. Just quickly check here, just to make sure there's no lantern or anything. Yo, what's up, Snow? Thanks for the good luck. So let's see, no cape? No gust jar means we can only get first waterfall. It's still six items, so I'm okay with that. Plus, we get the Ruby Path, so that's still a pretty good chunk of items. Anytime that you can come into here with flippers, it's a good thing in these settings. Now, obviously, it would be a little bit better if I could get more. Two traps. Oh look, it's it's our favorite trap again. What do you know? There's the bottle. Oh. Okay. I think we have to go do our first dungeon. Just do a dungeon, right? Do I go Cave of Flames, or do I try... Try Veil Falls? I'll at least do Lower Veil Falls on my way over there, but I definitely think we want to go Cave of Flames. Hold up. Hold up! <laughs> We're going right back into droplets. Because if I, if I, you know, never have to come back this way, I might as well do this, this second waterfall. And, oh wait, I can also do Hype Cave. I can do second waterfall and I can do Hype Cave while I'm over here. This works out really well. With all these items this early, you have to think. Four Sword's gonna be, like, in the back of Palace or something. It's, it's gotta be somewhere really awful. Because we're getting too many things. Oh, 
the Bon Bon Key's nice. That means I don't have to go into the house, I can just talk to them. That's good. Remember, closed fusions, there's no beam stalks. So, I can just grab this one chest and then go the other way. Lack of bean stalks kind of hurts Krennel a little bit. How did I know that was going to happen? How did I know? What's our curse count at? Are we at five? So for real now, now we head towards Veil Falls slash uh, Cave of Flames, Mount Crennel, all that fun stuff. Do I ignore Lantern Lock? Do I ignore Logic and go after Upper Veil Falls? I don't think I do. At least not yet. If I had an ocarina, I would say yes. We know it's fake. Thank you. If I had an ocarina, I would definitely do it. Just because, like, I'd be able to flute away. But since you would have to go all the way back down from Cloud Ops, we don't have all the kinstones. And palace is not required. I think the best case scenario is just go to Cape of Flames, do a dungeon that we know we can do. What are we looking for at this point? We need graveyard key. We need swords. We need lantern. We need boots. Bow. Gust jar. Caster kinstones. We need a lot of things. That's for sure. Also, we need spin, but I think that might be a spin scroll. I'm really bad at like the colors of some of the, sc the scrolls, but I think that was the spin one. So there's only two more scrolls left in the entire seed. And of course one of them is Rockbreaker. You never get Rockbreaker early. Never.
Of course, Rockbreaker is our last scroll. The last scroll that we could possibly get is going to be Rockbreaker. Oh, and you know, this is really nice as well, because Malari's Mines is a very solid play in these settings. Because Obscure Settings puts a lot of items in Malari's Mines. Obviously right now it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter too much. We'll do it after we do Cave of Flames. Because the thing is, you know, we have to go into the Mines afterward to get Malari's item. So just putting off the mines until after we finish the dungeon kind of works out. Mushroom, okay. Nice pizza. Like, realistically, the only thing that would speed up this dungeon... ...if we got it in Malari's Mines... ...would be the, uh, the boots. That would be about it. You can argue Gushar for this room, but I don't really use it. I don't normally utilize Gushar in, uh, Rando for this room. I just go with the, uh, classic slash and, slash and poke strats. Why aren't the minecarts in the Oracle games this fast? Because they learn from their mistakes. They learn from their mistakes when they made this game. So they were like, you know what? Minecarts and oracles were way too slow. Let's speed them up. But not let's not just speed them up. Let's make them go at breakneck speeds. So that's both small keys. Still need boss key. And there's still like a good amount of items in here. It feels nice to be able to do a complete dungeon. You know, like 20 minutes in. One of the things about uh, reduced item pool that you really want to learn is you want to learn where, where all like recovery hearts and fairies are. Oh, 
Okay. That's interesting, because now that helps me out a little bit when I go back to town. Assuming I get Red Sword. Because if I get Red Sword, we can do Dr. Left into Fountain. And we can full clear Fountain right now. But I think what I'm probably going to do after I finish up here is I'm probably going to go to Vale Falls. There's just too many items there to say no. Best case scenario is we're able to save Skunk Cloud Tops. Like, we're not going to be able to speed up Cloud Tops at all. At, at this point, we have Cape, we have the Mids. We can get all the items up there. It, the only thing is that we don't have the Lantern. So that's still technically out of logic. But. I'm sure our lantern is going to show up at some point very soon, right? Like I said, I'm sure it was going to show up at some point very soon. So yeah, we definitely go uh, up to Vale Falls slash Cloud Tops here. Uh, what are the winning lottery numbers? They are 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Yo, what's up, Sean? <laughs> it's been that kind of seed, which is very surprising for these settings. I say as I get cursed, again, for the 6th or 7th time, I lost count. Seventh. okay. Like, the curse traps are the only thing stopping me right now. Like, every, all the items are coming our way. Yeah, these settings are rough. That's why I've been doing a lot of practice, because I do not trust myself with these settings. No, I'll get mad at the curses, too. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the, the one that I posted in the Discord where I had, like, 15 curses, I think. Yeah, round 8 settings, I, I took a quick look at it. it it's going to be a, a crapshoot, but at least it'll be a short crapshoot.
Because you only have to do three dungeons. And it's pet finish. There's our rock breaker. How do I already have seven scrolls? Tell me how I have seven scrolls already. <laughs> We're 30 minutes in and I have all seven scrolls. Hey, there we go, number eight. Uh, where is it? There. I'm really bad when it comes to these. I guess I will take a Cloud Tops Kinstone. Don't really want them. I guess if I end up having all the Cloud Tops Kinstones when I go up to Cloud Tops, then I can get into Wind Tribe, which is good. Yo, what's up, Solus? All right, John. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you get some good practice in as well, so we have a, a nice race. Uh, yeah, I want to go over here. I want to check this stuff out real quick. Before I uh, head out of here. Especially since there's a Cloud Tops Kinstone there. We may get Wind Tribe access. That's kind of pushing me a little bit away from going to straight to Cloud Ops right now. As much as I want to go there, the possibility of leaving a kinstone and then having to do wind tribe. It's still probably worth going. Veil falls to cloud tops anyway. We'll get something up there, right? Getting the lantern definitely, like, pushes me in that direction. Do I bother with lower Krennel here? That's five items. Yeah, I probably should. Let me set my quick warp first. Like, in these settings, you want to get as many items in as dense of a spot as possible. Because the reduced item pool means <laughs> you're not getting many of them. A lot of things you're going to be getting are just going to be bomb refills and traps. Oh, 
the double trap. Another one. Uh, do I want anything from town at this point? Answer is probably no. Uh, wait, bombs. How many bombs do I need? One, two, three? I actually need three bombs, don't I? Oh, I shouldn't know that was gonna be a, a trap. Hold up, let's uh, let's do Grimblade. We can do both Grimblade. Uh, we'll probably find a bomb refill at some point, right? Is that actually Karlov? That is actually Karlov. Get back to town, turning Karlov metal, and... Maybe buy bombs if I need to? Or wait, I, I don't need to buy bombs. I'm, I'm still gonna go back to town though. Yeah, I, I can get bombs right over here. I can do in town. Yeah, the lack of Gush Jar is annoying. Because Gush Jar is one of those items that can just show up pretty much anywhere. We're gonna head up to Vale Falls after this. Or wait. Before I do that. Town digging. Town digging is another four items, so definitely worth doing. Alright, now... Now we head up to Veil vale Falls. There was a bomb refill there. Whatever.
Oh, I have Rockbreaker. I have all the scrolls. I have to remember that. I'm really good at remembering that. Another Cloud Tops Kinstone. And you know what? We have four. We have four. There's always a Cloud Tops Kinstone in Cloud Tops, so I think we're gonna get Twin Tribe. Bow? Okay. Nice wallet. Nice fake everything over there. Why is everything here fake? There, there, okay. It wasn't in, it wasn't in Cloud Tops, but it was up here. Why do I have all the Kinstones for Cloud Tops? Uh, I don't want to do Palace. Oh, uh, the heart container's fake. There's no heart containers in uh, Reduced Iron Pool. It's all heart pieces. Oh wait, I have I have Hakarina now. Wait, I don't need to do this. I don't need to. Yeah, I don't need to worry. Yeah, with Ocarina, we're fine. We explore this. But you all, you can also know that uh, if a heart container is fake, if it doesn't sparkle. It's so weird to think that I have Wind Tribe access 40, 40 minutes into the seed. I have Wind Tribe access 40 minutes into the seed, and Palace is not a required dungeon. Yo, what's up, Soul? Did I know that was going to happen? Thankfully, you can still uh, do that. Number nine. Wait a second, I forgot, I forgot a, a obscure spot. I forgot an obscure spot. How do I forget obscure spots? Oh yeah, I, I played the Game Boy Pokemon trading card game a few times. It's a lot of fun. It's very... Very RNG heavy, but still a fun game.
Here we go again. Number 10. Yeah, having a million bills in Professor Oaks is just broken. I need to start thinking about where I'm going after this. I guess in theory I could go back to... Uh, to Deepwood? Do I really want to do that? No, probably not. Not until I get the Gust Jar. I guess we see what we get here, and that'll help it determine where we go. Because obviously by having all the kinstones, there's probably some kind of progression in here. Red sword. Okay, so probably caster. So red sword was the only thing here. So obviously we want to follow the sword. Couple different places I could go for that. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to watch the race, but I, I saw it was happening. Kind of figured TGH would win. He, he's been, like, dominating every Game Boy Zelda. Not just lately, but, like, in general. very behind uh, after he was behind after a bad four set RNG yeah that happens but you know because he has such good execution in general being able to catch up not surprised
Okay, so yeah, it, it is looking like Caster is where we need to be. Unless... Unless... Remember, I... Remember what I said earlier about Fountain slash uh, Dr. Left? We can do that now. So I'm gonna do that, and then head to Caster. Now tonight, today there, we're not going to be able to do the ages weekly again. I haven't been able to, I, I, because I have to be, be gone by five o'clock, and usually like that's we're still in the middle of the race at that point. Hopefully, you know, we'll be able to get back into doing those weeklies sooner rather than later. Oh, you can't grab the heart while you're Minish. I'll grab it later. Realistically, I only need to grab it if I'm at, like, nine hearts. But I'll probably still want to grab it anyway, just to get a little bit of health. Eleven. The Gust Jar. Okay, this changes everything. This changes everything. Now that definitely sends me to deep wood. Oh, it looks like I, I dropped some frames. Yeah. But it looks like it's stabilized. Yeah, We're, we should be back to normal. Yo, what's up, Karanko? Thanks for the good luck. Dog food after Batterpillar. Gotta remember that's there. Because that could be something we need.
Yeah, it's no worries. Seasons Rando is not going anywhere. You can learn it at any time of the year. It doesn't have to be during the summer. Yeah, it looks like I dropped a few more frames. Key up top probably doesn't matter. That means key on matter pillar. Yeah, there's probably a key on matter pillar and then. Or, oh, boss key. Where's boss key? We haven't seen that yet. There's Balski. Yeah, yeah, checking out the Discord is usually the best bet. Because uh, I, I don't really update the, the schedule on Twitch. So being in the Discord, I, I always post when I go live. That way you can get a, a good idea of when I'm, when I'm live or not. Why? Alright, so that's element number two. Looking pretty good on the element front. And that's probably going to be a small key, yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah, th there's been a, a lot of Saturdays this summer that I just haven't been able to for one reason or another. But hopefully, you know, coming into the fall, we should be able to get back on that grind.
Alright, so we're done here. Where do I go from now? Uh, I guess now we make our way to Castor, right? Also do Greggle one and two. That's a possibility. But Caster seems like the better play. It's pushing us towards the dungeon that we have to complete. Uh, there are there are items that we can get. A lot more items this way. Book. Ooh. That's spicy. One more book and we got Yolari access. Oh, remember, we also have all the scrolls already. So being able to just go straight to Swiftblade the first might be a thing that we just do. Okay. That I don't like to see. I mean, I like to see it, but what that means is Palace is now a possibility. How much you want to bet Caster Stones in Palace? don't want to see that, but I definitely think that could be a thing. So after I clear out Caster, after I clear out Caster, I make my way up to Palace. Probably. That's like the biggest area left right now. We don't have a ton of things available to me. There's a few things in town. Um, like a couple minor things here and there. But Palace is where like the most items are. I don't like it, but... I might have to do it. I could also go and do like Dark Maze second Ruby Path and Droplets as well. That even see that even sounds more appealing than Palace. Yeah, I might do that. I might even go and do Blue Chew while I'm there. Uh, no map or compass though.
a vanilla bow chest. There was a bow in the vanilla bow chest. Oh yeah, we can turn to dog food too. Yeah, turning in dog food and then doing second ruby path sounds way more appealing than going to palace. What is that? Twelve? Is that a twelve? I think that was twelve. Oh, a shield! That's nice. That's two items we can get. So no matter what, we're at least two items from being able to do our next dungeon. We need two caster kinstones to be able to go to Fortress. And then we need a boots. Yeah, we would need boots and uh And a graveyard key in order to do crypt. So no matter where we go, we want to go to a place that has a lot of items. Because we need multiple things in order to make any more progress. Still no map and compass, which I find interesting. 
We'll see what we get here. Kinstone. Alright, so we got one of the kinstones we needed. Maybe we'll find the other one on Ice Plane? That would be nice. Or on Mad Pillar on Ice or something. We'll just have to do Octo and Blue Chew and Palace and all things that I don't want to do. map. Of course it was one hit away. Why wouldn't it be one hit away? Alright, I definitely think at this point we have to go palace. Or at least Gregor 1 2 and like the beginning of palace. So Gregel 1 had nothing. Gregel 2. Had nothing. Okay. So time to enter Palace of Wind. Sword, Boots, Kinstone, Graveyard Key. That's all we're missing. Yeah, we're sitting at 12 now.
Well, there's the boss key very early. It's nice to see. Oh, that was a fake sword. And that was our favorite trap. Number 13. Not like it mattered at all, because we still had to wait for the platform. I wonder if that was a real four sword. Would I have continued? Or just left to go to garden? Eh, I probably would have continued. Yeah, it was two fakes, but one of them was a light leg fake. It wasn't the, uh, the curse. Alright, what are we going to find on Pop Push? We're going to find something, right? I'm sure there's going to be something here. A key! So it is something, I guess. Yo, what's up, Tylenol? Thanks for the good luck. That's a key down there. How many keys are we sitting at? Three? Probably still check this stuff. We, we got a full player. It's a map. Oh, 
Oh wait, I have to push the pot. Because I don't have four sword. How did that happen? That be our progression. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, so the final key, we know where it is, so that means there's only a compass left somewhere. Everything else is an item. Fourteen? I think that's fourteen. I should, I should probably use the bow. A little bit safer. Yeah, we got, we got two in this dungeon. We got one at the big beginning, and then we got one just now. Yeah, that was that was the one we got. We got two two traps at that point. One of them was the lake lake trap, one of them was the, the curse trap. No, I haven't really practiced it. I, I just kinda like feel it out. I'm getting a little bit better at it, I think. I've been trying it like each seed that I've been doing.
Oh, how did that? How did that trigger that? There we go. Question is, do I do I do Georg? I feel like I probably should since I'm already here. Yeah, that was a fun one. There we go again. So what, that's 15? We're up to 15 now. Yeah, that's 15 chests wasted, and what, like, close to 150 seconds worth of, uh, wasted time in general? Right? Like, if, if each one's 10 seconds, that's 150 seconds. It's, it's amazing how much time you lose on those traps when you really add it up. Alright, was there anything else here? It's probably no, right? Yeah, there was nothing here. Yeah, that's true. Everyone else is going to have those same traps. Alright, let's see. Those tingle have the answer. No, 
but Tingle has a heart piece. Which is kind of scary to me. heart piece matters and wave blade is a thing that means we did have to do palace which I'll be okay with I guess in that situation but in any other situation we really didn't have to do palace at all Okay, there's the graveyard key. So now where's Boots? If we find Boots, then we can do Royal Crypt. Oh, and I forgot, there is a obscure spot in here. So that makes this area a little bit better. Instead of only having two items, it has three. That was nothing, okay. Where did I find the shield again? Was it droplets? Yeah, it is possible that boots are over there. It's even possible for boots to be on Dampe. Now, is that something we want to see? Probably not. I guess at this point we do want to see it. Cause that would mean we are not like spending too much time going elsewhere. Yeah, right now I'm gonna probably head over there and at least see. See what we've got. It's also possible the caster can stone is over there. And then boots are somewhere in Fortress. Probably gonna be longer. Because we still have two dungeons to do. We still have a few items to find. 
and then we still have to do Dark Hyrule Castle. On <laughs> oh, you'd love to see that. I'm gonna grab that heart piece. We still don't know if heart pieces are gonna be required. Like, sure, they're probably not, because that's only one check on Waveblade. But we're getting down to that nitty gritty where every little thing could come into play. Missing two items. The fact of the matter is, like, we're only a couple... A couple heart, heart pieces short of a, a full stack. Yeah, I love the music in here. It's really nice. I love the old Zelda 1 dungeon music. Alright, so that is our third element. Now we have boots, which opens up a few other things. So let's go ahead and work on our boots checks. I think we determined there was nothing in the cabin. Yeah. So after boots checks, uh, we head back to town. Yeah. Because there are a few more boots checks around town. 
namely the dojo and then south of town. There's also like a handful of other checks around town that I haven't done, so I'm going to work on those a little bit. Sixteen! Number sixteen. Seventeen. That one I grabbed on purpose, but yeah. Three, what was that? Three curses in a row. Alright, let's grab the heart piece. And now we start doing some of the really dumb checks. Yeah, we're going to be doing chickens, we're going to be doing Simon, we'll be doing Blue Chew, maybe head over to Octo. We're actually kind of running out of things to do. Still missing four sword. Uh, where did chicken go? Where'd it go? It just straight disappears.
That was a heart piece. Oh no. Oh no, it's looking like we might have to worry about heart pieces. <laughs> uh, let me just double check. I don't think there were any heart pieces in these areas. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be checking all like the really, really bad spots now. Honestly, it's probably somewhere in here. There's really not much left. I'm, I'm looking at my map. And there's like nothing. Compass here, that means per there's something, there's two things on Akko. There's two items on Akko. Yeah, there's no one to blame but myself for rolling the seed. I thought we might have gotten out of doing Octo by finding that caster kinstone, but... The other one might be on Akko. Yeah, the star was pretty good. And then that's when things start to get bad halfway through. feels like no matter how good your start ends up being with these settings, you're going to run into issues. It's just the way these settings are made.
Okay. I thought the uh, torches were gonna go out because they took too long. That was a very nice lineup between the two of them. I appreciate that. So what items are we going to find on Octo? Are we going to find the Four Sword and find the Caster Kinstone in the garden? Or are we going to find the Caster Kinstone and find the Four Sword in Fortress? Or is it going to be something silly like heart pieces? Yeah, that that's a thing. How many do we have? We're missing three. Oh no, what? Uh, yeah, I think we're missing three. One, two, three. Is my tracker not tracking properly? I feel like I have nine hearts. Yeah, I have nine hearts. So why is my tracker saying I have eight? I'll re I'll reconnect after after Octo. Or I could do it now while I'm waiting. There we go. Now it shows nine. Yeah, you want to learn the patterns for the first two phases. Uh, you can you can do the same movement every time. The third phase is the only one that's truly RNG. It's a trap. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going then? What else am I missing? No, I, I've, I've full cleared here. Um...
Where am I headed now? I actually can't think of anything that I haven't done. Wait, I did... I did go in Lon Lon House, right? I remember going in there. Yeah, they're not outside. Did I not grab the item? Okay. I guess I didn't grab the item. Yeah, every, everywhere I look, I've gotten everything. Um... I guess at this point we just check every little thing that is still on my on my tracker. I'm, like, a little confused as to why I cannot find what I need to find. Yeah, that's a bomb refill. It's a rupee. Also a ruby. That is a ruby. Um, I know I checked Lower Veil vale Falls, but I'll go there again, I guess. Oh no, it's Upper Veil vale Falls. It's Upper Veil vale Falls. It's that chest right there. I forgot I didn't have Blue Sword when I went there. See, the problem is, like, there's so many things that we just leave behind. Yeah, there it is. There's so many things that we leave behind in Veil vale Falls that it still looks like there's things there. And I just totally assumed that it was, you know, the rubies and all the stuff that we left behind.
Yeah, we only had green sword going out there. Yeah, we only had green sword because we got red sword and wind tribe. All right, the faster we can get our four sword, the better. Oh no. Uh, we are getting dangerously close to Waveblade. Maybe full clearing things actually is gonna pay off. Because of Wave Blade? So no matter what, we're getting our fourth element. The only question is, where is the fourth sword? Nineteen is it nineteen or is that twenty? I actually don't remember. That's 20. <laughs> yeah, we got quite a few of those traps today. Very, very quick boss game. I'm actually gonna go straight to boss and hope that, you know, sword is there. boss anyway. So just doing the boss now makes the most sense. Because if the sword ends up being the second item there, then we're home free. We don't have to check anything else. If it's not there, then yes, we'll, we'll go ahead and check everything else in the area. Because this is all I have. I have nothing left. Yeah, we haven't found the logical four sword. All of our swords have been logical.
So the Force Sword is truly our Force Sword. I would divert path <sighs> away from the one that it's supposed to be. The last one wasn't bad. Alright, are we gonna get anything from killing the ball? It is not the sword. There's our element. Now let's go ahead and check everything else in the area. Actually, let's check the visible stuff over here real quick. Um, I don't know. If heart piece. Heart piece. I am so close to just going ahead and uh, saves coming out of here and checking Waveblade. I think we need one more. I think there's one more heart piece. Nice fake mitts. Yeah, it's, it's 20. That's a book. That's third book for Yolari. I think we are checking Yolari after uh, we save scum this part.
Well, there's not that much left, so <laughs> we're gonna have to find it sooner rather than later. Yolari time. Like, at this point, the biggest troll would be either, like, it's either in the back of Fortress, it's on Yolari, or it's on Wavelade. Like, that's pretty much all that, that we have left. It could be in Castle as well. Like, we could get the one check in uh, DHC. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just check that. No, no, let's not check that. Let's let's just finish Fortress and then we'll check that. Cause it would take too long with the you know opening DHC and all the cutscenes and everything to go back there later. No, I don't have four sword. That is what we're trying to get. I can open DHC. The these settings are four element zero sword pedestal. is it? There's only so many places left. And yeah, the four sword is the one. That's the one item that can literally be just about anywhere. So it could take forever to find. With reduced item pool, that just makes things a little bit harder to find things. Like, it's fine. You know, we'll, we'll find it. At some point. I wanted to gra grab it with the clue. Okay. There it is. Imagine if that was a trap, too.
Well, it wouldn't necessarily be the curse trap. But it, it you know, it could have been a fake sword. That would have been a very painful fake sword. But yes, it could have been. Though at that point, I wasn't really expecting any more fakes because I only had a couple checks left in the entire game. Yeah, that seems to be like around where we're ending up a lot, is like in that 230 range. Because these settings really force you to do a lot of full clearing and dipping into dungeons that you have no business being in. Alright, what is this one chest that we would have been able to get? Is the boss key! Okay! I dig it. So now we just need a small key and we're done. Have I ever had a three-hour rando before? Yeah. Like, my first ever seed was like a 310 or something. Uh, but also, the round two settings. We had like a 255 or something. In our, our race. Like, the round two race was uh, very close to three hours. Or what? I think I think I might have had a 251. And then, or 253 or something. I don't, I don't remember the exact number. But it was like a 250 something. Uh, what was my fastest? Fastest was a... Like, 1-0-something. Right? Did I even have... Did I have a sub-hour? It depends on the settings, of course. But, like... I had, like, ones that were, you know, like, right around an hour. Uh, but, like, the normal settings, I think my... Fastest is something around, like, 140. With like the standard race settings of Ruby Mania, open fusions. It's almost over, but remember, we still have to fight Vadi. We still have to fight Vadi with nine hearts and no spin upgrades. Which is not, you know, not a free fight 
at all. I mean, it's 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 a decent item, but you know, it's not completely free. I might I might get the red warp here just to be safe I mean I don't necessarily need it but you know if I die if I die to body then you know it's good to have I shouldn't die to body, but strange things do happen in this game. Yeah, I'm more likely to die to the Dark Nuts here than body. Say. But they gave me decent patterns. So I'm okay with that. Also, the fact that we do not have Great Spin makes Body 1 a little bit harder. Because you're not going to get enough damage off in order to do this phase in one go. So you're going to have to do this in, in two goes. It's not as fun. It was being nice for me there, staying in the middle and not teleporting away. And then of course, you know, no upgrades means body twos in wait. Because it takes forever to do a spin slash. It takes forever to clone. It takes forever to shoot your bow. Thankfully, Vadi is cooperating. I shouldn't say that until we get to phase three. Oh, 
Oh, I have no arrows! I have no arrows! I ran out of arrows. Okay. I had no idea I was just shooting blanks. I was like, why am I not hitting it? on body three doing pretty good I is uh, cooperating a little bit. Not, not great, but a little bit. Hello. There we go. And now all we have left are three rounds of tennis. Alright, there we go. 233.06. That could have been uh, sub 230 if we didn't get any of those traps. So we got 20, 20 something traps, which, you know, equates to about 200 seconds or so. It's about three minutes of uh, time loss. Yeah, that, that was fun. No, it wasn't a race against anyone. It was just practice. So yeah, the one thing that really tripped me up in this seed was that kinstone on Vale Falls. Look at that difference between our blue sword and four sword, an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, th this, this seed started off really well. Like we had, we had a lot of items early. And then it just dried up. Because <laughs> we needed that uh, kinstone. 